Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. It's time for some more Brood War. And today, of course, another flash match against someone I have been dying to see more of. Quickly spawning down here in the bottom right hand corner. We've watched a bunch of this guy. We've really enjoyed a lot of his games. Unfortunately, did not make it into the SSL this season. Was pretty close, but came up short. Had some really great games on the ladder that we've covered. Maybe I can put a link up in the top right-hand corner. I think I forgot some of my most recent videos to put those links up there. I think it does help to get people to, um, to check out some other videos as well. But let me know what you guys think. Does, does putting a link up there help? I've been recommended to do that type of thing. Um, trying to get more engagement on the channel, of course. Getting into this game now. With Flash opening Gasless. I mean, he's been just doing it so consistently recently. I haven't actually seen him on the ladder for a minute. But whenever I've seen him against Protoss, he's been pretty consistently going for this gasless style. And he seems to be dialing it in and tweaking it till it's just right. So he can take down these really strong Protoss players. It really does seem like he believes at least that this is the best way to open against Protoss right now and on at least a map like this. We're here on Polypoid. Pretty normal standard map. It's been played. It's been done a million times. And with a normal standard map like this, a normal standard build will be perfect for Flash here. He's getting a good scout of the main, making sure that that Cybernetic Core is spinning. What? What did we just see there? Hello? Well, that was strange. I saw Singularity Charge rolling. And then... He came back in and we started... Air Weapon 1. And then he cancelled that. And then he went back to making Singularity Charge again. Is he just playing a mind game here? I'm really curious as to what's going on in the head of... Quickly... Was he trying to make it look like he was faking? When he cancelled it too soon and maybe Flash would see that? And think, oh, you're actually going for a fast robo? I don't know. I, I'm very confused about what exactly happened there. But regardless, Nexus is on the way. I don't think Flash is deviating his plans much. He's just getting two factories. And let's see if he gets a really quick eBay. Because if he gets a quick eBay, then maybe this kind of gamut has worked. It was right for the Academy. So maybe Flash seeing through that or not even understanding what he was looking at. I'm not sure. He saw, probably saw this spinning and was like, okay, you're getting range. And then looked away. I don't know if he was fooled by the, the cancel and then the the start and then the cancel and the start again. I really can't um, can't explain that. But one thing to mention is that canceling an upgrade costs you nothing. It doesn't require any sacrifice at all. It's just wasting build time on that um, Citadel. So or not sorry, not Citadel. Sorry, Cybernetic score. So. It's not like it um, costs him anything except for the build time and, of course, the time that the dragons can hit this bunker. They're going to hit that bunker for quite a period here, dealing a lot of damage and extracting the resources here required to keep that bunker healthy and repaired. Quite the weather we're having, eh? Just got to keep repairing that building over and over again. It's really uh, getting pounded here by these three dragoons. That's not an insignificant amount of minerals. I mean, it's not a huge amount that it costs to actually repair this. 
But we've also got three SCVs off the line for a pretty long time. Just keeping that bunker alive and... Here we have Flash pushing that away. We're going to go immediately into two Vultures. And another two Vultures. Mines. And is this an eBay? No eBay. So he really was not fooled. He took a look at the main. I'm not sure exactly what he saw. We're a little bit slow on that. But regardless, just going to stick with this armory for now. Speed and mines on the way. I think it's likely we'll see mines placed inside the main base. Just in case. Unless you saw that there was no reaver or no, no tech for the reaver. Because it is not a reaver build. Just four gateways. And the dragoons. It's just reaver is so popular right now. Maybe he... um. Maybe he won't go for that, actually. Yeah, just gonna run up here. Let's see what he can do with these mines. Eh, placing the mines in between some of these dragons. Can't get the run by. Really gets nothing out of that. Not even one dragoon ends up going down here. None of these have even a single kill. And the mines will now get cleared out, so... Kind of an anticlimactic attack there. A little bit wasteful from Flash. Could have put some mines in the main base here and then gone for that, but alas, kind of throwing away some of those units, going for a third base. Hmm, that is interesting. I wouldn't expect this to be able to hold on, but perhaps with the defensive way that Quickly is playing right now, we may see Flash... Uh, kind of pull the wool over his eyes. Maybe sneak this one behind his back. Gonna start to clear mines. Such an early command center. 730 command center. He's only got three tanks. An additional two coming up here. Possibly onto this high ground. It's very tough to cover this angle here. And this. And up here as well. Assuming that quickly finds out about this. Let's see. I mean, he sees how far these tanks are spread out. He must be imagining that there's a CC over here. He must be getting suspicious. He's going to get over here to the high ground. He sees the CC and how quick it is. What will quickly decide to do? How will he react? No movement in the main thus far. He is going to go into a later reaver. So could potentially harass with that. The turret ring is forming here in the main. The scouting has been very good thus far from Flash. He really hasn't missed anything that's going on. Getting his turrets at the perfect timing. Going into a second armory as well. With this third base, he's going to be able to power up really fast. Nexus in the top right hand corner. Seems like this is the answer from Quickly. No quick bust, no uh, speedy timing to try and break open this third base. Instead, he's just going to continue to expand, taking more and more of the map. He's got some pretty good map control right now. You can see the vision of Flash is very limited. He doesn't really see what's going on, what's coming. And so this dragon attack heading over to the top side of this base might be very effective. We don't have any tanks up on that high ground. Luckily for him, though, he just places down those two uh, supply depots right as the dragons are coming up this ramp. So had those not been placed, he might have been able to run right up here and get on top of this high ground. As it stands, I'm going to drop that reaver, take a shot. Those get a very nice shot there. Secondary shot there doing a lot of damage. A third shot, going to get another tank. Very well done. Like two or three tanks went down there, along with a few SCVs as well. Can't really drop up here any longer. Needs to actually back off now. Let's start to lose units. But this shuttle has shuttle speed. Rotating back through once again. Start to drop on the tanks. Very nice drop there on a low HP tank. The Reaver's getting kind of low. The shuttle likewise only on six, eight, 16 HP. Pretty rough. He's going to try and drop this. Nope. Backs off. He's going to keep that alive for now. Be a thorn in the side of Flash for a little bit longer, even though it's not got a lot of health. 
It can still remain there and just be annoying for now. A lot more gateways coming up. Double robo. Thought that was going to be a triple robo there for a second. That would be crazy. Templar archives on the way. We're going to get some storms going here soon, but I think this has been rather effective. We've hardly lost anything. We lost just a few dragoons and the reaver's still alive. I mean, the shuttle is eventually going to get picked off for sure. This reaver will go down with it, but you know, he got a few tanks. He slowed things down a little bit. I think it's pretty decent for quickly. However, behind in workers, I don't know how that happened. We've got so many more Nexi around nexus around the map kind of insane that there's more probe or more scvs we're up to 80 scvs now all right you gotta stop building scvs 80 is more than enough 81 scvs total that is certainly too many i would say 70 should be your maximum i would think Otherwise, you're going to be really cutting into your overall army strength at a max supply. He's starting to push out here with 146. Think about that. He's got more SCVs at 150 supply. He's got more SCV supply than he has army supply. Kind of crazy. Kind of insane. We will pass that threshold though soon. At 160 supply when he'll start to be able to move out but that could be a little bit um of an illusion of strength rather than real strength that flash may have at that point we we'll dropping here on top of everything gets the tanks very nicely done pushes all the scvs away but it's just pure zealot remaining and with a lot of vultures coming up here he should be able to deal with that it's like vultures on this side gonna get a tank all right a dragoon they really are the protoss tank Got a little bit of luck there. Quickly walking into that mine and able to pick it off before it connects. We have SCVs heading over here. Back to mining. Still 82 remains. So he didn't really lose any SCVs. All he really lost are tanks and not that many uh, on the face of it. We've really kept the tank count pretty high still not at that 160 supply but he's managed to secure the fourth another base going up here in the top left this is the important moment now as we start to get gateways in the top right start to set up a base over here i would actually prefer to see just gateways here first because the nexus is not that important what we really need to see is templar and units start to get produced on that high ground great storms here pretty stacked up tanks unfortunately for flash very good d matrix at the end of this fight and the zelts are going to run up on top of all this see how many more tanks he can actually pick off nice snipe on that science vessel as well he's getting so many tanks here quickly really killing it right now this attack very well timed with that Templar Storm coming in clutch right as that fight started. He's able to break through pretty heftily, but still a very good number of SCVs. And as long as Flash stays alive and keeps this fourth base going, he's going to be able to get back up to max. The only problem is, will that be enough time for quickly to secure all of upper left? He's already thrown down that Nexus. Need to see some gateways here. Templar on that high ground makes the area so much harder to break through. You'll love to see it. Scarab damage on the way at 15 minutes. It's not quickly. It's snow that's playing this game. I'm just kidding. It is quickly, but he's taking a page out of Snow's book today. We'll see if he's able to utilize those reavers at the same degree as snow here comes the storms into this third base great kills oh my goodness so many great kills on those scvs dropping him down to oh still 70 wow i mean i thought he killed like 20 scvs there but maybe it was only 10 maybe 15 dropping from 85 to 70 that is kind of wild still so many workers on the field here for flash he can continue to produce like mad, but failing to get past that 160 supply mark at this point can only really raid with vultures. It's not like he can actually do 
any sort of real push into uh, any of these bases of Protoss until he reaches at least that small threshold. Now, he's continuing to produce SCVs. 74 are done. Getting a bit of a mine there. Dealing some damage with these vultures, but really just trying to buy some time, trying to harass a little bit. Rather than just sit back on his haunches and wait for the next Protoss attack, the next uh, recall or... Yeah, it does seem like it's going to be Ar uh, Arbiter here late game. Drops coming in once again. Zealots on top of everything. I don't think there was any storms in that one, but some storms did end up getting thrown out. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at those storms. Beautifully done. Well, that was an incredible attack there. I mean, that was so many turrets, so much defense. A ton of tanks, a ton of dragoons and vultures as well, and quickly manages to break it through, giving best a run for his money here, breaking through positions that are just not supposed to be breakable, and dropping him down once again. We've just barely crossed that threshold of supply, and we're already back down to 150 again. Flash really wants to push out. It appears he wants to try and take this base over here. But is he going to be able... I mean, it's hard for him to hold this base right there. Is he going to be able to hold this entire area here? Plus this and his natural over here? That sounds like a tall order. As the drops come into his base in center left once again. Reavers are going to get dropped in this mineral line. Won't be able to kill that tank. Kind of a nicely placed tank there. Didn't really even see that until it started firing, but it's got five kills, doing a very good job. Plus three is done. And tanks are starting to head up here to the top left-hand corner. He's going to try and break this. This is why I was talking about these gateways on high ground being so important, because if you start pumping Templar here, DTs and stuff like that, it makes it so much harder for them to break up this ramp. Instead of slowing down that attack, though... It seems like quickly is going to use the distraction to jump down on this natural, do as much damage as he can to all of these tanks that are popping out of the rally point. He's doing a lot to lower the overall supply here, but is it going to be enough? Flash is starting to expand once again. He's continuing to grow, whereas quickly is losing bases in the top left. He's not able to hold that area. But he is getting down here towards this production. You can see it. tanks and vultures are up here in the top left clearing things. But that means they're not down here to try and assist these units that are popping out of the factories and just being sprayed with storm. Not a huge amount of gateway army uh, pushing up here into the main base. And so we might see this get away. Oh, there could be a huge storm. Very nice storm there. Oh, man. He could have gotten another one and probably finished off every SCV. It's like 10 SCVs right there. But instead, he kind of whiffs. He misses. Another storm goes down, and the army pushes him back. Uh-oh. Quickly. Double Arbiter production has just started. We have Stasis Field on the way. It felt like he was busting through everywhere, and he was maybe going to be able to take this. But now Flash has this base over here, and he's going to start to claim these bases in top left. Eventually splitting this map in half. Now's a great opportunity. We could drop here, kill this tank, and kill some SCVs. That thing's been sitting over in center left for such a long time. I think quickly he's completely forgotten about it. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh, there it is. Okay, he sees it. <laughs> All right. Getting to work here. We kill quite a few SCVs. Oh my goodness. Causing some pain here to flash. Around 10 minutes after the original one came in. Uh, maybe not that long, but quite some time since that first one came in. Oh, did we get the stasis off? One great stasis in the back. The EMP shut down the first stasis, but it wasn't able to shut down the second. Storms are coming forward. The big storms on the big chunks of units in the back. The zealots are just about out, though. We've almost run out of zealots, and so 
Will the Dragoons be enough to push through? Yes, they will. GG is called and Flash taps out. Dude, Quickly is looking good right now. Holy. If you guys haven't been keeping up on the latest news, like Flash has been dominating. He's been crushing a lot of great Protoss players. Was not expecting quickly to just run over him in this game. It wasn't quite a stomp, but that was a pretty convincing win on the side of quickly. For those of you who are about to type in the comments down below when this was played, it was played on the 24th of September 2024. So just in the last couple of days depending on when this comes out. Very, very recent. And Flash gets defeated by this incredible player quickly. His APM was a little low here at the end. Maybe realizing that defeat was near. I thought that he still had a pretty good chance though. Had he just stopped this attack coming over the ridge uh, into his natural. Had a very nice army, maybe a little bit of better positioning, you know, tank split up a bit more. That seems to be his, uh, his kryptonite potentially currently as Flash is having a bit of a hard time really spreading out his tanks as much as is necessary against these modern Protoss players who will hit you with early storms. And the, that first early storm, I'm going to take it back to that first battle where all the tanks were clumped up here on this high ground and the army came in and storms got dropped on like four or five tanks hitting it at a time even if you can hit three tanks at a time it's great great value for the storm but you know four or five you're really making you, you, it's just pure money it stonks at that point but quickly played a great game hope to see more of flash guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe. It's been a blast, and I'll see you in the next one.